This is Code.org. I'm working on their CS Discoveries course, Unit 3 Animation and Games, Lesson 20, the, le the Game Process, Game Design Process, Part 16. So we're making this cake game. What I have so far, and now we can push enemies. Raw! Uh, uh, except the water isn't really, well, anyways. Alright, so let's see what we're doing now. If you don't have that stuff, you need to go back through this lesson and do each step. If you get stuck on any of it, I have videos for that. It was parts two. Touching the water. The last part of this game is that you'll need to write... You'll need to write is the code to reset the sprites when they're touching the water. Luckily, you should have already written functions that reset each sprite we did. So you'll just need a good way to know when either sprite leaves the bridge. Start by writing the code for a single enemy, then copy and paste and make small changes to create the code for your second enemy. Okay, that makes sense. For this level, you'll be writing code inside the enemy's touch water function. Use an if statement to check whether enemy 1 is off the top of the bridge by checking the y value is below is below 140. Okay, so 140 is like, look at y... Oh, it's like here. So if it's below it, because the top of the screen is zero for Y. So if it's below 140, that means the enemy's up here. Got it. Use your set enemy one function to reset that sprite. Add one to the score. Okay. Use an if statement to check whether the enemy is off the bottom of the bridge by checking whether its value is above 260. Oh, okay. So then it's in water. Set enemy one. All right, I got it. Let's try this out. Enemy is touching water, so we need a control here. If sprite x, that, whoa, what did I just do there? Sprite x, and we want this to be enemy 1, so if sprite x, oh, whoops, I need a equals. Oh, it's a conditional. That's not the right equals. We're checking a condition. You need two equal sign. This one is what you want because one equal sign makes a new variable. All right. So we're just checking if sprite x, but we want that to be enemy one, x is equal to 140, or did we want less than? If it's below. So we don't want an equals even. We want to know if it is, yep, and so that means this one is going to be, oh, we don't have this one yet, <laughs> all right, sprite x, so enemy one's sprite, enemy one's x property, which is like a variable, except it's just for that enemy, it's a property, it's its location, so if it's less than 140, what do we want to do, we want to call the function uh, set enemy one, which means we want to write this name for the function, and then our function, if enemy wants x is less than 140, it runs the code, and then it will drop down and run the code inside that function. So we'll put a function call there, set enemy one. Okay, and then we want another if statement for the other condition, and we want to know if it's greater than 260. So I need to go to math, I need a greater than sign, and then I want to go to sprite y. Okay, and then if it is, we also want to reset because that means they went off the bridge. So we want to set enemy one, we want to call that function so it drops down and runs that. Now I am missing something and that would be our score. Oops. We should go to variables. We want score. We want score to equal score is going to equal score, which is declared way up here. We made this variable score. We want to set it equal to score plus one. Okay. So if this statement is true, Yes, the computer will say true. X enemies X is less than 140, meaning we hit an enemy into the water 
it drops down into this and runs the code. It resets the enemy score equals score plus one and adds one to our score. I'm going to start copying and pasting stuff. I'm going to copy score because we also want it to do that for this one, right? And now we need all of this for enemy two. So I copied all of it. To copy, I did control C. To copy on a Chromebook, um, you want to right click, you select all of it, and you separate your two fingers, click down at the same time, or you can use control C, control V. On a Mac, it's command C. All right, now I want enemy two. Enemy two. I'm going to reset enemy two. And then enemy two, I think I got them all. All right, let's see our right, code. Let's hit run and test it out. Uh-oh, did something wrong. If enemy touching water, if enemy one's X is less than 140. Oh, it shouldn't be X. That's what I did wrong. Let's go to show text. It's easy to correct here. Both of these need to be Y. Both of these need to be Y. Let's try this again. Am I getting points? Oh no, I missed them. But the player can go out of bounds. Negative one. Ooh, now I'm at one. Cool. So that is working. So this is the stuff, the code that worked for me. Great. Let's keep going.